Hi there, everyone. My name is Erwin Huesma here at Hawkridge Systems. Today, I'm really excited to introduce uh, part one of a multi-part series on the injection molding process. Everything from part design, mold design, and mold machining, as well as a couple other things that we're going to throw in there as well. So uh, we'll jump right into it and uh, just show you this RC car that I got from a buddy. Um, and we're just going to play around with this one part here, see what we can do to kind of tune it up for molding. Right away, what I notice is uh, some of these fillets aren't very appealing looking. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and trim out these fillets here and manually trim them over myself. So the first step in doing that is I'm going to use my surfaces tools and make an offset surface of this guy at zero inches offset. So now I have a copy of that surface. I'm just going to hide it. I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these other fe uh, faces. Run through, delete those guys. And I want to make sure that I'm set on delete and not delete and patch. Uh, delete will just get rid of them. Delete and patch will actually do its best to re-cover them over. So I'm just going to re-show that surface that I copied originally. And I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to trim up this boundary because it looks kind of uh, jagged here. So I'm going to cut off a little part of this copied surface. Um, and I'm going to use a tool in my sketch palette called Spline on Surface. And basically, instead of making a two-dimensional sketch on a two-dimensional plane, I can make a 3D spline on a three-dimensional face, just like that. So it perfectly contours that face right there. From here, I can use my trim surface tool and remove that piece of the face. All right, that looks good. Now before I go ahead and make a filled surface, I'm going to knit this copy into my original. And now I can go ahead and run my filled surface. The trick to the filled surface is you have to select every boundary. You can't miss anything um, or it may not propagate for you. So here I get a preview, and this is the first hint that I did my job well. Selected all of the edges. I get a preview here, um, but currently it doesn't look exactly like I want it to, so I'm going to change my edge settings to tangent and accept that. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to knit this face in place and make a solid out of my surface bodies. That looks a lot better than what I had before. I'm going to start to change my attention over to this side. I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach on this end, though. Um, my surface on this side is still pretty jagged, but I'd like to make a nice smoother transition between all of my faces here. So I'm going to insert my own plane. I'm just going to make a three-point plane. All right, and make a sketch on that very same plane. Make a circle. I'm going to constrain it in here by relating it to some of these vertexes. All right. Now this next part might not seem very intuitive, but I'm going to make a solid extrude. Just out one direction and again in the other. Now you might be looking at me going, what are you doing? That makes no sense. That is not a smooth transition at all. I'm just going to use that solid extrude as a jumping off point for what to delete. And there I have a nice boundary. It's nice and curvy that will cut out everything along its edge. From here, I'll go back to my filled surface. And instead of manually selecting all of these edges, because all of these edges are tangent to one another, I can right click on one, select tangency, and it'll select all of them. Now that transition looks almost worse than that solid extrude. I'll just change my edge setting to tangent once again, except, and we've got a much nicer transition there. Look at that. I'll knit it back into place, make a solid, and away we go. That looks a lot nicer. I might even do the same thing on this edge, but if you like videos like this, um, or you want to keep up to date with this uh, video series on the injection molding process, please subscribe to the Hawkridge uh, Systems YouTube channel, and we'll keep you apprised with more videos just like this. 
Thanks for watching. Take care.